Hey everyone, Wes here for Family Gamer TV, and today we're going to take a look at LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Universe in Peril, which is the iOS version of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, which we saw on consoles and PC at the back end of last year. That game sold mega numbers, and so there's no surprise to see it eventually appear on mobile devices too. So if we look at the options here, you can switch between touch and button control. I'm going to go with the touch controls. Uh, you can also alter, obviously, your sound input and everything like that. Also, down here in the right-hand side, you have the card collection section. Now, you pick up these cards by doing certain things and certain challenges within the levels. As you can see, I have one so far. I've had a little play of the game, but there's more to collect to be revealed, though. Now, if you delve into the game uh, you will immediately be shown a couple of level selects well if it's your first time you won't get these you'll just get the intro which we'll see in a minute uh, but you've got level selects uh, unlocked well levels to unlock which we need bricks to do so we need to finish the levels prior to that and then hopefully we can unlock these as you can see I have 21 out of 450 blocks at the moment we skip back to the start. Uh, before we go in and play the game, let's have a look at the shop. So this game does come with in-app purchases. The game itself costs £2.99 in the UK at the moment and then is supported by further in-app purchases. So you can see here that we have a plethora of Marvel characters with which we can play the game. Uh, some have an unlocked padlock on them and most have a locked padlock. We scroll through, you can see we have Hulk completely unlocked so we can use him anywhere in the game on any level. A variety of characters, you need Juggernaut there, Fantastic Four characters, Silver Surfer, Magneto, so we've got X-Men in here as well. We've got Nick Fury, we've got Spider-Man, Venom, we got, who else? We got Wolverine. Tons and tons of characters. And one mystery character. Who might that be? So, if we switch back to the start of these characters, ever so quickly. Now, we can look at some pricing here. So, if you pick one of the ones with a locked padlock on, let's take Agent Coulson. He costs 20,000 studs to unlock. But you got to find him in the game first, complete challenges, etc. To unlock that padlock, then you can spend the studs on him, should you want to. You can also, well, just get his name. I'm assuming you get a bit more of a blurb when you unlock him. You'd hope so, anyway. So for the unlocked characters, like here we've got Captain America, you can spend a lot more. So the character pricing for studs, at least, varies quite a lot. 125,000 studs for Captain America. Beyond that, if we look at the top left here, you've got the ability to buy packs of characters. Now, this works a little differently. These are available for actual cash. So, an in-app purchase of $1.99 will unlock the Avengers pack. That should, in theory, give you access to all the characters in the Avengers to use wherever you want. Now, I don't know whether it's limited to the three on display here. Let's have a look. Okay, now we get six characters for $1.99 so that's not bad pricing I guess and it looks like there might be a little reveal here that shows you each of the characters in detail and their kind of special powers okay so you can see a variety there Nick Fury doesn't have a lot going on a bit disappointing Nick okay and then you've got Spider-Man Fantastic Four you've got X-Men X-Men villains and then these guys, the Bad Boys Pack, which includes Deadpool. Now, I always find it quite funny to see Deadpool in games aimed at a younger market. Uh, he's very much an adult character, but they seem to do a good job of toning him down for these types of games. Let's have a quick look at what they've got. So Deadpool has the ability to regenerate. Okay. What else have we got? Well, at the top here on the red brick, you can buy kind of cheats and power-ups so you've got the invincibility pack 
which will cost you £1.99. And there's some others here. We've got the studs pack, multipliers with studs, and at the end here we've got the free fun pack. So what does that include? Let's have a look. Confetti effects. We've got a comedy weapon. Honking sounds. Fantastic. So that costs... Oh, nothing. Nothing? Well, the honking sounds cost nothing, maybe. I'm unsure as to whether I should buy that. They're all listed as nothing. But I'm dubious. Really? I don't really want to put my password in just in case. Anyway, what else have we got? Our, oh, I say, so up here, you can unlock move sets for some of the characters. So you've got Hulk Super Move 2. This costs you 10,000 studs. What else have we got? Iron Man Superman Super Move 2. Again, 10,000 studs. Mr. Fantastic and Spider-Man. And I think you get access to each character as you play them in the game. Different characters are available to play through different levels. And then you've got the ability to restore your purchases if for some reason you've deleted the app, etc. In the top right here, you can buy the ultimate superhero pack which is all characters, all abilities, and all super moves for $6.99. Which really, when you add up the cost of everything else, is a bargain. So, if I was a parent and my son wanted one of... If I was a parent, I am a parent. Suddenly forgetting I'm a dad. How did that happen? Um, if my son or my daughter came to me and said, Dad, I want to buy one of these characters or I want to buy the character pack. I would probably rather stump up the $6.99 for the whole thing, get it done. As you can see, I've got 162,000 studs at the moment, so I can buy a character. Um, shall I do that? Why not? Let's go in there. I think I'm going to buy Iron Man. I don't have much choice, but Iron Man can fly, which gives you access to other areas. So I'm thinking for 150,000, as steep as that is, it's probably worth buying him. So, there we go. I will buy him. Uh, let's buy some special power as well. Seeing as I've just bought Iron Man, let's buy his super move. What is it? Uh, deals damage to the direction of this. Oh, well, not much detail there, but I'm going to buy it anyway. I have hardly any studs left now. Okay. Let's get on with the game and play the first level. I'm going to stop talking while we display the intro for you because nobody likes to be here talking over a video, do they? So here we go. Pick my character and off we go. And here's the intro for you. Oh, before we do, here are the specific challenges that you get per level. And you can look at each of those while the level's loading, which is quite handy. It tells you what they are. As you can see, I've done all of them on the first level. The interesting difference with the second level, I don't think you can do them all with the starting set of characters. Right, onto that intro. Sorry, surfer dude, but you're headed for a wipeout. Iron Man. I'm reading an incoming ship. Watch out! It's about to open fire! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tony, are you alright? Ow! Ow! And more ow! <sighs> These cosmic bricks, the world will be mine to rule. But first, I should probably prevent it from being destroyed. This would have been much easier had you captured the board intact rather than blasting it to pieces. The Avengers showed up. They know how to ruin every good evil plan. Your plan is still fantastic. 
A poor choice of words, God of Mischief. I prefer to think of it as spectacular, maybe stupendous. I've hired every villain, bad guy, and dark minion I could find to help assemble Dr. Doom's Doom Ray of Doom. Sort of a mouthful, but all right. Speaking of that... Silence! Now we must track down more of these cosmic bricks to build my weapon. As you command, O oh, most doomful one. All right! I let these bigwigs go! Watch you bring me some of those... cosmic bricks! Why didn't they make me the supervisor here? That guy's got sand for brains! Holding Grand Central hostage at rush hour? Now that's criminal. Hulk, you have to remember to look before you leave. I know, bad guys. The S.H.I.E.L.D. folks think we need to formulate a careful plan using... Or we just smash our way. Good plan. Okay, so that intro shows that the Silver Surfer has been attacked and I think his surfboard has been turned into cosmic bricks. And the bad guys, Loki and Doctor Doom, are teaming up to try and collect these cosmic bricks and our heroes are out to try and save the day. Now the first thing you'll notice about the game is the camera viewpoint is very different to the LEGO Marvel Super Heroes console titles. Now I I've only ever played the demo of that and I can also say based on that demo if there was no further intro in that game then we got a little bit of a different intro here than perhaps we did in that title but very much a similar game similar first level with a, just with a different viewpoint now we control the character with the touch by putting your finger on and moving it around and he will follow your finger you can maybe make him do a dash by swiping in one direction and he will dash that can also hurt the enemies and you've got the repulsor blasts here by just tapping on the screen it will do his repulsors alternating hands that's quite cool uh, what else we got you do two finger swipes upwards he will fly and you can again follow the finger around he'll fly around you've also got the ability to fire repulsors here as well from the air and then two finger swipe down and he lands and I think the landing also does damage too. So we can pick up studs as we go along. We've got plenty of things to destroy. So we can do hand to hand kind of combat. We can fire our repulsors. And we'll find some bad guys to take out in a minute. We can also switch, oh there's a bad guy, a sand guy. The Sandman's henchman. We can take those out. Uh, we can switch character. If you touch the character face up in the top left, you can switch, and now we're Hulk. So what can Hulk do? Well, he can do some big battering moves. He doesn't have a jump move at the moment. Um, he doesn't have a ranged attack. Now in the console title, he can pick up cars and throw them. I'm not sure whether he can do that here or not. Holding down the car. Oh, yep. He can pick up vehicles and throw them too. Just put your finger on the vehicle, hold it down, and he'll do that. And then you can chuck those at the bad guys. Awesome. So you've got civilians to save. Along with other challenges to do on this first level. Now, one of the things noticeable... Uh, is the difference really in 
how the characters interact. So in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, the characters uh, really did work together more. It was far more of a co-op based game. Uh, I'm finding with my experience with the iOS version that this is more of a single player game. You can call in the characters and switch and swap, but they don't work together really that much. So you do things in the console title where, you know, Iron Man had built something for Hulk to then use his strength on and that kind of stuff. You don't really get that here. But, uh, let's find Abomination and throw a van at him. Because why wouldn't you want to do that? We are the Hulk after all. So come on Hulk, make your way through and bosh on me head son. Uh, so there we go, Abomination taken out. You'll notice if you're a player of the console game, that fight was considerably easier and less fun than the console title where Hulk has this duel with Abomination that ends with him picking Abomination up and smashing him backwards and forwards over his head, uh, which is, to be fair, a lot more fun than just chucking a van on his head. Not that chucking a van on his head's not that much fun. Uh, so that's the first one. Here you can see all of the challenges that I have completed. So you've got throwing something on Abomination's head is one of them. You've got, uh, we've got here, uh, protecting police cars. And then you've got the big one, the multi-challenge, which has a variety of different things that you have to do until you get the brick. And of course, you want all these bricks so that you can unlock the later levels. I'm not sure whether there's going to be a lot of grinding in order to get these bricks, um, but hopefully not too much. So... Next level. And we'll see if we can play through the whole of this intro so we can show you it all. So we should move inside the bank now and hopefully get to face the Sandman. So we're inside now, we've got some more villains. We're gonna take to the air with Iron Man, fly around here. There's areas to shoot up here. Oh, that's a secret area, we can get in there. Fly through there, around this big pillar. We've got a civilian to save here. And then we can get back out, just here. We can take these cranes out as well. We get a special... One of the challenges is to do with these cranes, so we'll take those out. Free the civilians. Take out as much of the scenery as we can because I wouldn't you? You get studs for it. What do studs mean? Prizes! Yep, so take the salmon out, blast them away, fly around here. Ooh. I do find with the touch controls, when you're putting your finger down to try and fly very often, you do a dash kind of dodge move, which is okay sometimes, but I want to be in the air here. So we've got a big sand train to take out. And some sand guys. Oh, just been hit. I'm going to swap out. I'm going to come the Hulk. And then I'm going to try and take down some of these fools. Here we go. So Hulk has to wait. You've got to take out these rounds of sand men that come after you. And then you can progress a bit. When there's nothing to hit, he doesn't seem to want to strike at anything. So I'm trying to get him to strike stuff. Okay, there's a blue stud up there, so I guess I really should swap back to Iron Man. And then we can fly up there and get that blue stud, hopefully. Ah, trying not to dash. Follow my finger. So there are a few quirks with the, um, with the controls. Certainly from a, a touch point of view. Swipe down again here, take out all these. Pick up the medikits. Take these. Take these down. We'll fly around this block here and some goons. Try to take out a civilian, we don't want that to happen. So we'll come round. And we'll fly around here. Get up in the air again. Zoom around here. And then we got another one of Sandman's fists trying to take us down. And now we've got a wall of 
barricade-like wall, sorry, to uh, to block our path. And we don't want to... Be oh, I'm getting hit left, right and centre here. I need to move away from this big fist. Take these sandmen out. And get these guns. These gun turrets, take those down. Trying to avoid being shot at. While getting hit by sandmen. And there we are. Level complete. Now what we'll try and do in this uh, next level... Oh, I completed a few challenges too. Bonus. Oh, I rescued... I didn't even see him. He must have been one of the civilians. So rescued Stanley. He's got another block. And I also got the mini kit. Okay. So the next level is the big boss fight with Sandman. And interestingly, and I'm not quite sure why... You actually get to play as Spider-Man for this. Um, you've gone through the entirety of that level with Iron Man and Hulk, and then all of a sudden Spider-Man shows up. Fair enough. So Sandman turns into a giant Lego Sandman. Uh, and we can take him down. We're going to fire our webs at him. Oof, got hit by some sand from underneath. Fire our webs. And that's round one done, but he's going to be back for more. we got some Sandmen, so I'm going to fire off Hulk. So I can use Hulk by tapping on that shield icon in the top corner. It will summon your colleague, your tag partner. And you can then... Uh... Oof. And we'll take down the Sandman again for round two. So yeah, you can bring in your tag partner for like a special hit. But we see Spidey doing his special moves. I don't think... Oh, he does do web swinging. So you can put Spidey in the air as well. I don't know whether he moves... Oh, he does move. So he swings from side to side. Good stuff. There's something down there I think I've got to get. I don't know if I can get it from here. How do I pull that? There we go. Awesome. What's that do? How do I get it? Ah, I've been caught up in a sandstorm and battered. I want this. There we go. Collected. One of one. Ah, no. Get off me, Sandman. Oof. Right, I need to get away now because he's too close. Push him off. Oh, no. This might be me. Dead. Oh, level failed. Oh, darn it. Right, let's just rattle through that again. Too busy trying to show you all the moves, all the Spidey's funky moves. We'll polish him off quickly this time. Okay, here we go. Get those webs on him. Get that health down super fast. Some bad guys are gonna jump out at me. Oh, this isn't good. I keep I keep walking into stuff. I watched Joe, my son, play this level, and he didn't get hit once. Okay, round two, hopefully done now. I need to take these guys out to do that health. Oh, three health points. Bonus. Now, hopefully, I can take out the Sandman without too much trouble. There we go. Nailing him with my webs. I think that might be it. That might be game over. Oh, no, not quite. Uh, not quite. Some more goons to take out. Right, I'm going to take to the air this time. And then I'm going to take him out from the air. Don't seem to fire quite as quickly while you're in the air. But you do avoid them. Whirlwind, tornado, sandstorm things. So there we go. He's taken out. We captured the Sandman. He couldn't take it anymore. And now we're up to 43 bricks. So the tag team of Spidey and the Hulk did the job. that cosmic brick, Coulson, and make sure it gets to the Fantastic Four's lab for analysis. Yes, sir. 
Um, Hulk, can you help with some of this debris? <laughs> You're calling them cosmic bricks? They came from the Sky Surfer you encountered. I've given Reed Richards the job of finding out why everyone seems to want them. Thanks for your help, Spider-Man. There's always a place in this operation for a hero like you. Like I have time for that. I've got a trigonometry exam tomorrow, and my aunt needs me to pick up a dozen eggs, and I'm drowning in angst. So, who's behind all this? What exactly are they up to? And will it cut into my hot tub time? I don't know. I wish I knew, and yes. Tony, get back to Stark Tower and try to get me some answers. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, so there you go. That is our early look at Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe in Peril. Uh, hopefully, that's caught your eye and you want to play some more of that. You can get that now, remember, for $2.99, but remember about those in-app purchases too. If you want to see more of that, uh, we may have some more videos coming for you. But of course, if you don't want to miss anything at all, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And leave us a comment, let us know who your favourite Marvel characters are. Did you play the console game? How does this look compared to that? And if you finish the console game, are you interested in this? Let us know and be sure to stay tuned for more from Family Gamer TV. <laughs>